Wanna come up? Yes. Are you coming up too? Okay guys, if there is anything that I have learned from this quarantine saga, it is that now I am addicted to Animal Crossing New Horizons. So um that's good, but <laughs> I've literally been playing it every day after I've finished my work. Um, today is my scheduled day off, so I just wanted to do some bits and pieces around the house. I thought we could hang out while I do that. Thankfully, with the level of lockdown that we're at, we're still allowed out for once a day a walk. Um, so I have been doing that. And my dumbbells haven't arrived yet, which is very sad, but hopefully they do turn up soon because I miss training with the weight. But how are you guys doing? Like, leave me a comment. Are you working out at home? Like, are you making extra time for things? I know there's probably quite a few of you who still need to go to work as well. Give me that. I'm too noisy. Um, now, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of questions about this plant as well because I posted it on Instagram. Um, it got this brilliant new leaf. Can we see how big that is? Like, look at that compared to my head. A lot of people were asking like what kind of plant it is. It's just a Monstera Deliciosa. When I bought it, you might have seen it in an earlier video, like when we first moved in and I, I mentioned in some text. So I was like, oh, I'm trying to rescue this like, big old plant or whatever. Because when I bought it, um, had a lot of like mineral loss in the tips of the leaves. I don't think it had been repot in maybe like three or four years. Um, it was just not looking too great. So I trimmed off a lot of the suffering leaves. Um, I planted it in an even bigger pot. It's so heavy. It's like, I swear to God, it's like somewhere between 50 and 60 kilos. It's really heavy to move. I need to put it on some wheels, I think, so that we can easily move it. But yeah, it's just a regular Monstera Deliciosa. It's just really big because it has the room to grow. It has the light to grow and it's old. Like, I don't know how old it is, but I didn't buy it brand new. I bought it off someone else who ran out of space for it because it got too big. Now I do have a shelf to assemble today for in our laundry to go over the washing machine because our laundry is tiny. It's just like, um, it's like a spare bathroom. So there's like a toilet in there, there is a sink in there, and then there's room for the washer slash dryer. Um, so we have a combined washer dryer and I was like, I'm just going to put like a little shelving unit over the top so that I can make it look all neat. Your suggestions of what I should do, like, cause I can't paint the walls cause we're renting. So I was like, I was looking into like stick on tiles and that wouldn't work because apparently they can damage the paint when you take them off the wall. So I was thinking maybe I just do some decals down there as well. Like, you know what I've done to my kitchen wall, how it's got like all the spots. I thought maybe we could do something like that, but like a different pattern or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like it needs something to make the room a little bit more pleasant to be in. Right, I'm going to go grab this shelf and I think I'm going to build it up here in the lounge room because it's definitely um, too small in the laundry to build it down there. is our little laundry room so I'm just gonna put the shelf here so these things can go on it see I was thinking of putting maybe some decals on this wall this space really doesn't have um, very much in it it's very plain I feel very lucky that we're still able to go out for walks here so 
It's a little bit windy today, but it is nice and sunny, so I might go outside and get some sunshine. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna get changed um, because there is a plant that I wanna repot. Hi. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys remember this plant, but I think it was like all the way down here when I repotted it into this pink pot. If you remember my um, how to greenify your space, the plant video that I did, the, I think it was like a fairly long one. Um, yeah, it was all the way down here. And now <laughs> it is all the way up here. So I, th I think it's actually gonna be cool to let it grow up and then go across and continue going up. I just use, as you can see, it's come off this one, but I've got um, 3M hooks on the wall holding it on, but I'm gonna repot this into a nice white pot because I was like, I'll give it something bigger now, see how big it grows, I guess. I can't like force it over to the other side yet. It's just not quite bent enough. You can see it's growing with a bend. So I'm just gonna let it do that. I'm gonna wait until it gets to the other side, but it is so tall now. Need to put up big and strong, baby. How does cakes look? Semi relaxed. Okay, his back leg just went out. I've never seen anyway. him do that. Really? What a pretty dog.
I hope you guys are well. Um, this is what I have been doing for most of today. I had to run some training programs and then um, I was putting together a new blog post and things like that. So just like working on a few little things. Um, it's been a bit weird at the moment. I noticed that I was getting in a bit of a funk with everything and so I was like, right, I need to be like more proactive about this. So every day when I get up, I you know, have a shower, get dressed into something that I actually like to wear and I'm noticing even that simple act alone is making me feel a lot better because instead I'm just like lying around in my PJs which would be so easy to do because so much of my work is on my laptop. I'm actually making an effort to be like no hang on like I want to get dressed and like treat this like a proper day. Not that it's a bad thing like if you want to have a pajama day now and again that's cool but I feel like sometimes if you let that take over um in a funny way it affects your mood. Mitch just had a delivery as well so we now have well, kind of a bench set up and we've got a barbell and an easy curl bar and like a changeable dumbbell set but that's going to be good so we have something to use hey we've got some equipment so it's 4 30 i'm finished my work for the day i'm gonna pack up after i finish chatting with you guys i'm gonna like hell yeah i'm gonna play some animal crossing hope you guys are taking some time to look after yourselves i know it's a bit weird at the moment it's all a bit strange, but thankfully we're all in it together. And I wanted to take the chance while I'm on here to reach all of my clients at once or any of the ones who watch my videos. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of what they've done. Like, I was so scared that a bunch of people would be like, oh, I can't train anymore. I don't want to do it. But everyone's just gone, you know what? I can't go to the gym. Give me a home workout program. Everyone's just made huge changes to their routine. And like the commitment that I'm seeing is incredible. Like, it's so inspiring to me to work with women who are just like, yeah, I'm just gonna make this happen. It's, it's so cool. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Like if there's something that you wanna achieve or that you wanna get done, like don't let this stop you. Like find a way through it if you can. It's up to you to decide who you wanna be and if the actions that you're taking each day add up to that end result. If we look at what we do each day, does the summation of our actions equal that end goal or are we telling ourselves like I'll get there eventually I'll start it eventually I'll do it eventually because I think when you're in that headspace you're not looking after what you want to be looking after all right I'm gonna pack all my things up I hope all you guys are well um, I thought I'd let you know as well I am well I just planned out wrote out the recipes for a new meal prep video that I'm gonna be doing shortly and it's gonna be all budget meals because I know it's been super hard to get a lot of ingredients I want to make it suit your budgets but also make sure that it's nutritious and it's going to help you with your fitness goals too. Keep an eye out for that. I will have that one up soon. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.